as a researcher, there are actually a lot of tasks that you have to do regularly that you can actually outsource to AI. This can help make you more efficient. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about three different tasks that you can outsource to AI and two tasks that I really, really don't recommend outsourcing to AI. The first task that I recommend outsourcing to AI is finding research articles. There are now so many different tools, free and paid, that you can use to actually find your research articles for you that honestly are a lot faster than using something like Google Scholar. Even though learning the basics of Google Scholar can be really helpful, doing something like Elicit that can really quickly find research articles and analyze them for you, Site AI's assistant tool can help you find real research articles through kind of a chatbot system. And even something like Perplexity AI now actually delivers real research articles and review articles that you can use to actually find what you're looking for. So using these tools is going to be much more efficient in being able to find related research articles and research articles that are specifically at what you're trying to do. Even non-AI tools like Research Rabbit, Lit Maps, or Connected Papers can also be really helpful in allowing you to actually be able to find related papers to what you're interested in learning instead of constantly doing a brute force search through something like Google Scholar. I will have links to all the tools that I'm talking about in the description below if you want to check these out with the different tutorials that I've done on those tools. The second task that I, is really good to outsource is article summarization. The reality is most of the articles that you might want to extract information from, you don't really need to read fully. And so it's really nice if you can just get a basic summary of that article. And now there are, again, so many different tools that are using AI that are popping up that can really quickly give you the highlights of that summary. Things like TLDR This, Paper Digest and article tools are really good for quick summaries. Resumer is really good if you want the exact words and just boil down to the main points. And then you can even use specific ones like Elicit can actually give you a summary and a question detailed summary. You can use something like SciSpace's Copilot feature, which is like a chatbot on an individual document, or even Charlie.ai's feature, which is also a chatbot on a specific document, but not only geared towards research documents. There are also in-depth text summarizers like WordTune Read and ScholarSee that's going to give you more in-depth per section of what you're trying to learn about that research article. So overall, it's not really worth spending hours and hours of your time reading all these research articles when you can get summaries and instead read the specific articles that are really going to help you move your field forward and that you need to know about 90% of the information within those articles. The third task that I would outsource to AI is editing. Whenever you're a researcher or in grad school, you are probably writing a lot of material, whether these are emails, whether these are rev reviews or research papers, you're writing a lot of different things, and honestly, a lot of that probably needs to be edited. So using things like Grammarly, I have the Grammarly Chrome extension in my browser that really quickly does quick editing of my work. But then you can also use things like ChatGPT potentially to give it specific um, pieces of information and ask it to edit it for you, rephrase it for you, or even point out grammatical and spelling errors. You can also use something like Charlie.ai. I used it earlier to ask it what um, organizational changes should I have made in a specific paper to help me edit it better. Now, if you are submitting your work specifically to a place that says that they do not accept AI-generated work, you shouldn't be using directly AI. You shouldn't be outsourcing your editing to AI. You shouldn't just give it a document and say, please edit this paper. Instead, what you can do is specifically ask it for what grammatical mistakes were made and why are they mistakes. So it's teaching you how to edit your own paper. But for each of us, whenever we're editing our own papers, we're likely to miss the most common mistakes we make. So for me, I consistently switch tense. 
it's something that I really struggle with it whenever I am working is that when I write scientific research or any types, I'll go from past, present to future tense and just switch between them. And I always had to find someone to edit it to check all my tenses. But now I can actually use something like AI to say, where are places that I'm switching tense and how can I change that? And then I can go back in and edit it. And then I'm submitting something that's not generated by AI at all. It's me doing my own thing, using AI to help me find those places where I am making mistakes in my grammar. So those are three tasks you can outsource to AI. Let's talk about two tasks that I really don't recommend outsourcing to AI. And the very first one is finding research ideas and planning projects. I think finding research ideas is such an important skill that every researcher needs to learn to become really efficient in their research. So I would not outsource to AI. And honestly, I have tried using basically every single AI chatbot and tool out there to be able to see if it can develop novel research ideas. And honestly, none of them really can. None of them can tell you whether it's novel. So instead, you should really have the ability to be able to develop an idea and test that idea to see if it's novel and develop a research plan from it. And so if you are struggling with that, I do want to let you know that my course, Research Accelerator, which goes over all of that, it teaches you from how to learn your field all the way through collecting consistent data that is publishable and you know it's publishable because you've done all this work. That course is actually going up in price at, after today. So if you're watching this on the day it comes out, it is only $67 currently to buy that course. And I have not increased the price on this for almost two years, even though I've redone the entire course. So that course will be, after that will be $127. I will leave a link to that in the description below. If you are seeing it the day of and want to get it, or if you um, are seeing it after and still want to get it, even though the price has increased. So I would definitely learn the skills to be able to develop your own research projects effectively instead of relying on something like AI, because you're most likely going to spend a lot of time creating data that's not even publishable because it's not a novel research idea or it's not even going to ultimately work based on the science of the matter. The other task that I would never recommend outsourcing, and it's one reason you don't see these tools on my channel, is writing. I think whenever you are starting to outsource writing, you are now losing your value as a researcher. Part of your value as a researcher is being able to explain your science in a compelling and understandable way. And part of that comes from you developing that skill of writing. If you are always outsourcing it to AI, first of all, a lot of people are not accepting this. And in any case, even if you can get past a GPT detector, it is unethical to submit generative AI text to someone saying that they do not accept it. And I would never recommend doing that. But also, if you develop the skill of writing, whether it's reviews or research articles, when you develop that skill, one, it's going to make you a better presenter. But also, you are going to write far, far better research articles and reviews than a, genera than a generative AI would write. And that is where you are plugging in constantly your value as a researcher. So just to summarize, three tasks to outsource would be finding research articles, summarizing those research articles and editing, and two tasks to not outsource is finding novel research ideas and creating research projects around them. And then the second one is writing any kind of research related thing, whether it's research articles or um, review articles. Now writing emails, yeah, I would, that's fine to like probably outsource and then edit and then use. But using those two things, you can use AI in both of those situations to help you, but I wouldn't simply outsource it and not develop those skills yourself. I will have my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It's completely free. It kind of goes through the steps of developing your research project below. My scientific research paper checklist is just a checklist of all the steps you need to go through in writing your research paper. And then my research accelerator course linked down below as well if you are interested in that before the price jumps up in um, tomorrow. 
and I will leave a playlist up here for all of my research tool reviews. So if you are looking into different tools that might be able to help you in your research, you can check that out up here. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.